The Shining is number 63 in the top rated IMDb movies. Every movie on IMDb, The Shining is number 63 of the best. Needless to say, it's an absolutely fabulous film. And I feel like most people have seen this, so I'm not going to really review it as such. I'm just going to discuss it, and I would love to know your thoughts when you first watched it, what your first experience with it was. And also if you didn't like it, because there will be people who don't like it, and that's perfectly fine. Um, it was released in 1980, directed by Stanley Kubrick, Kubrick uh, with a screenplay by Kubrick, based, of course, on the novel by Stephen King. I haven't read the novel. I'm, I've, I've mentioned this before. I love Stephen King's stories, <clears throat> but I'm not a big fan of his writing style. I will give it, a no, give it another go at some point in the future, but just now I'm really just happy with the film. Starring, of course, the fabulous Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall. And also Danny Lloyd. And just in case you're unfamiliar with the narrative, from IMDb, this says, A family heads to an isolated hotel for the winter where a sinister presence influenced the father into violence, where his psychic son sees horrific forebodings from both past and future. And when I look at this, when I look at the description, I think that seems like there's too much going on, like they're trying to pack too much into it. And... You know, they're trying to throw far too much at it. But actually, I mean, it completely works on every level. The location, the hotel, I mean, the hotel is a great a great size, very secluded, very almost deserted. And the location is just absolutely perfect. It really helps add to the sinister element, the fact that they're not too near anybody. Just makes it all the more sinister. And apparently it was partly filmed at Stansted Airport. Um... Just a slight tangent there. The actual design of the hotel, the decor, is, is is brilliant. I absolutely love it. Because Jack Torrance is a writer, uh, and I am a writer, I feel for him. I feel for the struggle. I often worry that I will turn into Jack Torrance. Because you can read two things into this. You can read that it's a, a supernatural force which is obviously the most popular reading. But I like to look at Torrance and think that he's just hit writer's block, he cannot continue with this, and he has a complete nervous breakdown and flips. Very easy for the artist to do that. Slightly scared that this will become a reality for me. Um, hopefully not. Obviously we have a, a, a lovely range of things that are referenced in pop culture, so when you actually see them in the film... It's just so amazing because I, I guess like most people, I probably saw references to this before I saw the film. And, um, you know, I wasn't a horror fan for quite a long time, but I've certainly made up for it since then. But things like the twins and the carpet and red rum, none of which I will go into any detail about just in case you haven't seen it. But all of these little Easter eggs and you know, here's Johnny. These little things you can pick up on in, in other films that reference them, TV shows. I've lost count how many times I've seen people mentioning these and, you know, parodying these. It's ridiculously iconic and instantly recognisable. Jack Nicholson as Torrance gives an absolutely incredible performance. Shelley Duvall is amazing. Apparently it was a very, very difficult um, film for her to film because of how much Wendy screams and because of how much Kubrick made her do things again and again and again. Um, I wouldn't say she regrets it, but apparently it was a, an exceptionally gruelling and mentally draining film. But what do you expect when it's a film like that, if you look at it? It's uh, definitely one that's not going to be an easy film. Danny who plays, uh, Danny Lloyd, who plays Danny, is, is absolutely brilliant. He's a, he's a great character, and the little tricycle is so cute, and there's just so much about this film that's unpredictable as well. It takes a journey that is not the most um, obvious, particularly with uh, Torrance's breakdown, if we can call it that so flippantly. It's absolutely sensational. It uh, obviously is an award winner, but not the awards one would expect. And it's had some very odd nominations. So it, it won the... It was part of the best DVD collection at the Academy of Sci-Fi, Fantasy and Horror in 2012. Um, it won the Best Supporting Actor for Scatman Crothers um, at the Academy of Sci-Fi, Fantasy and Horror. It also won the National Film Preservation Board film in 2018. 
So at the time of its release, it didn't do very well. In fact, it was nominated for a Razzie for Worst Actress for Shelley Duvall and Worst Director for Stanley Kubrick. I don't get that. That's ridiculous. So it just goes to show you can't always trust the Razzies and you definitely shouldn't trust the Razzies. The Shining is amazing. I assume most people have seen this, but if you haven't and you're just trying to get into horror, this is a fantastic place to start, but it will test your tolerance. It will push the boundaries. It's great fun. It's very exciting. It's a classic that will last forever. Honestly, it's pretty perfect.